You know, ChatGPT isn't the only AI chatbot on the market that's worth a gander. Gemini, the generative AI platform from Google formerly known as Bard, can hold its own compared to its OpenAI-owned counterpart. You just need to know how to use it. In this video, you'll learn how to use Google Gemini, including how to use prompts, create images, and see the difference between its first version. Plus, we'll help you decide whether or not the paid version, Gemini Advanced, is worth the investment. But before we continue, let me introduce myself to you. I am your host, and currently, I am working as a data analyst, and I have a love for any kind of technology, like, literally. And I love to create and share these kinds of videos with you as well as the techie guy. So, I would request you to hit that like and subscribe button. Your support helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest our videos to more tech enthusiastic people like you and me. Thanks for understanding. All done. Now let's continue. First, how to sign up for Google Gemini for free. As far as getting set up with Gemini for free, the process is quite simple. For starters, you'll need a Google account to access Gemini, as the service is connected to services like Google Maps and YouTube. Simply head on over to the Gemini site and sign into your Google account or register for a new one to get started. I will share the link in the description. Once you're all signed in, you're ready to use Google Gemini. Just ask a question or suggest a prompt in the chat bar at the bottom of the screen, and you'll have your answer in a few seconds. You'll see from the home page that the service provides you with a few tips for getting started, offering prompts and suggestions that can help you find exactly what you're looking for. However, if you want to get the most out of the service, you'll need to make your prompts a bit more advanced. Also, it's worth noting, as Gemini does in the small print underneath the chat box, that Gemini, along with most AI chatbots, doesn't always provide accurate information, so be sure to check your work before submitting anything important. Next, how to use Gemini prompts. When it comes to AI chatbots like Gemini, it's all about the prompts. These quick phrases and questions are used to instruct Gemini to perform actions, and if you want to get the most out of the platform, you'll want to follow a few best practices. First off, be specific. Gemini has all the information in the world at its fingertips, and being vague will rarely get you exactly what need. For example, instead of simply prompting Gemini to write a story, but instead prompt it to write a short story about a pig that meets a lion at the Taj Mahal in the style of Iron Man. Beyond that, you'll want to specifically use the correct action words to get what you're after. Prompts that include words like write, summarize, or generate will ensure that the answer provided matches up with your actual request. You'll also need to note what kind of information you want to be included in the answer, as well as any information you want to be excluded. This helps Gemini narrow it down when it comes to sifting through the mountains of data to its avail. Some studies have also found that the way to get the best responses from AI chatbots is to be emotional and genuine in your prompts. Even simply adding phrases like, this better work, or my job is counting on it to prompts can increase the value of responses, but a notable percentage. It's also worth remembering that getting it wrong doesn't mean you have to start from square one. Gemini is a continuous service, like its virtual assistant counterpart, Google Assistant. So you can ask questions in success, tell it what went wrong, and it will take into account previous responses to give you the best option. If you don't feel like making your own prompts, we don't blame you. This kind of work can be quite intensive, and with so many people using AI chatbots like Gemini, the number of pre-made prompts available is substantial. Next, Google Gemini versus Google Bard. There have been a lot of AI chatbots in the news over the last few years, so we'd forgive for getting a bit befuddled when it comes to Google's entrance into the industry. After all, the tech giant is notorious for its confusing name conventions for everything from Duo and Meet to G Suite and Google Workspace. So, what's the difference between Google Bard and Google Gemini? That's the fun part, there is no difference because they are one and the same. That's right, Google Bard, despite only launching in March 2023, has already undergone a rebrand name change, with Google changing it to Gemini in December 2023. You can check that video by clicking on the I button. Next, how to create images in Gemini. Unlike some other AI chatbots, such as ChatGPT, Google Gemini allows users to create images on the same platform for free. That's right, you don't have to go to another site and deal with complicated settings and layers. All you have to do is ask for a picture and you'll get it. As you can imagine, prompts are quite important for creating images as well. If, for example, you tell Gemini to show you a specific picture, it will simply search the web for a picture that fits your description and provide you with that image, along with a link to the source. To get exactly what you're looking for, make sure to use words like create or generate in your prompt so that Gemini knows it needs to develop something new, rather than simply search for an existing image. 
Gemini is a bit limited compared to other AI image generators in that you can't edit a lot of the parameters. Now, should you upgrade to Gemini Advanced? Google Gemini is a free AI chatbot that you can access on your smartphone, computer, or tablet in a browser or in a mobile app. However, if you want to take your AI game to the next level with Gemini, integrating it across Google services and getting a bit more power, you're going to have to cough up a little dough. Gemini Advanced is a paid-for plan from Google that bundles the AI chatbot with a Google One account. This gives you access to a more powerful experience that can handle more demanding tasks, like understanding multiple data sets across text, code, and images. On top of that, Gemini Advanced gives you integration with other Google services, like Docs, Gmail, Slides, and Meet. You'll be able to utilize the chatbot directly on these platforms to create content and improve communication, no matter what you're doing. You do have to pay for Gemini Advanced though, and it's not exactly cheap at $19.99 per month. There is, however, a two-month free trial available right now, so make sure to take advantage of that before the deal goes away. In summary, Gemini AI is a revolutionary platform that is set to change the way we interact with technology. And if you want to know more about these kinds of things, then click on the video shown on the screen. Also, do hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.